In the spirit of truth and reconciliation, it is important to acknowledge the traditional lands that we are on today. This traditional land and the treaties that were made are important to recognize as we live on, cultivate, and provide for our families and communities on them. We would like to acknowledge that the land we are speaking about today is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and Attawadaran peoples. We recognize the First Peoples' continued stewardship of the land and water, and that this territory was subject to the Dish with One Spoon Wampum, under which multiple nations agreed to care for the land and resources located by the Great Lakes. We acknowledge and recognize the Upper Canada Treaty signed in regard to the land we are on today, Treaty 29, otherwise known as the Huron Tract, and Treaty 45 and a half, otherwise known as the Saugeen Tract, and our roles as treaty people committed to moving forward in the spirit of reconciliation, gratitude, and respect with all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. We acknowledge the racist and oppressive role that child welfare has played in the past, the impact of the residential school system, and the impact they have had on Indigenous communities. We also acknowledge that First Nations, Inuit, and Métis families have been particularly harmed by the actions of child welfare in the past with legislation and practices that continue today. The Huron Perth Children's Aid Society is committed to the truth and reconciliation process and journey to support and promote Indigenous well-being. We commit to implementing the truth and reconciliation calls to action, especially related to child welfare. We commit to ongoing action to reform our practice and support improved outcomes for Indigenous communities. Oh,